Hey guys, what's going on? Prex here, and in this video, I'm bringing you guys some King Soul raid gameplay, and more importantly, a guide to, to the part in the raid called Power of the Glyph. Now, as you see in the middle, what I'm looking at there, that little big tower thingy, that is the glyph, and you have to charge all those sides to get it open. And how you do that is there are three totems in the room: one in the middle, one on the left, and then one on the right. And and what you want to do is there will be some sort of rune or ball that you have to get before you go on to tell the totem as you guys see on a little circular cylinder there in the beginning and then once somebody gets that you have to go stay on the totem and then so basically two people per totem and then you switch off the the aru whatever you have and then when you get that, the, the person who just had it switches with somebody in, in the middle. So whoever is in the middle will be switching with one person in the, like, in the middle and so on and so forth. So, so you need six people, you need two people per totem, and you need both people from the middle. One person who is designated to switch with the left and then one person to switch, switch with the right and then the two people at the totems have to switch off the uh aru thingy and and just keep doing that and i i believe you have to do it at least 10 or 15 times now it can be a little confusing at first but you do need some good team communication and you do need to know how to really stay alive on, on the totem so example for here we have boomers over here so what you want to do to hide from them is try to hide hide behind the, the, the pillars but as you guys saw when I tried to do that they still shot at me and I still died so you want to make sure that you're either in biz if you have that or just stay behind a, a pole or whatever or whatever you want to call it because the knights will show you and they do take a little while to kill so just do watch out for that but yeah so we'll, we'll, so once you do that about 10 or 15 times then, then you will technically complete it and, and you will get the rewards but just always always be ready to switch with the person who, who just gave up the aru so like you see now i have it for 30 seconds so then the, the person who is in who just left is going to switch with the person who is in the middle and then the and then come towards me and then I'm, I'm gonna go in the middle and st stuff like that and when you lose the aru then you the, then you get a death singer something so you will take damage if you stay in there so that's why you have to rotate and you do need six people and it does take a lot of communication but as you guys see right here we complete it and the, there's a chest in the middle and if you open it or I'm not sure if you open it, but but you do get some rewards. As you guys see, I got a moldering shard, and you actually can earn a ghost shell from this part. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Yeah.